Well, the whole thing sounds like one big mess to Michelle Bachman, the Minnesota Congresswoman joining us now. Congresswoman, thank you for joining us. Uh, what is wrong with saying to banks of CEOs, hey, or the, you know, the companies that you cannot make $100 million a year? Why is that wrong? What's wrong is to have the federal government substitute its judgment for that, for an independent board of directors, or for the people who are benefiting or, or being otherwise impacted by this decision. The federal government cannot substitute one person's decision for that of a private investor that has something at stake. The government doesn't, the investor does, and the federal government has already proved it's not a very good business partner. But the proponents of that legislation, like Barney Frank, will say, hey, you know what, the shareholders are a little bit absentee, they're not doing their job, the boards are all buddy-buddy with the CEO, so I'll be darned if they're going to go ahead and tell the CEO you can only make X amount of dollars. So it doesn't sound like the free market has been working, and even people that are against the government will say $100 million bucks to run a company is ridiculous. And that's exactly why the board of directors need to exercise their authority and exactly why shareholders need to act. They have the most at risk. We take extreme situations like this with $100 million, but let's remember the Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner already rolled out what he's looking at for rules for companies that are not under the TARP program. They want to get into the business of sell setting compensation levels for everyone. And the new PAYSAR that we're looking at now, there is no right of appeal once he sets that comp limit. So this is pretty serious business. Once we open this door, it will be very difficult to exit. So you not only have potentially the government setting pay limits, you have one appointed politician That's setting right. the limits. One guy, That's one right. guy, one woman one, one, making the decision. One, one guy across numerous industries. This does not sound like the United States of America. I can't believe I'm on the sidelines watching history unfold in our country. This is not what we were set up to be. It's as though I'm observing the deconstruction of free market economic capitalism. I never thought in my lifetime I would live to see something like this. But is there any power to stop it? in Washington right now. Oh sure, oh absolutely there's ability to stop it. If the American people rise up, when the American people realize that what a bad business partner Uncle Sam is, once Uncle Sam took over GM and Chrysler, they've now put 3,000 privately held profitable businesses out of work and numerous Americans out of work with it. Uh, government isn't doing too good of a job. It has 9.4% unemployment. The Federal Reserve tells us we're going to over 10%. And so what's federal government's response? They're putting thousands of people out of work by putting these private successful auto dealers out of work. I don't think these are the guys we want to put in charge of setting compensation limits, certainly for our private companies. Michelle Bachman, Minnesota, thank you very much. Thank you, Brian.